When you purchase the Happy Tears treatment kit, you will receive the following. The liquid spray, the powder, the bamboo cloth. The Happy Tears treatment kit consists of several items and I would like to show you what you will receive when you purchase. First of all, there's the liquid spray, then there's the powder, you'll receive a bamboo cloth, a toothbrush applicator, two mini bear applicators, one pink and one black, and a little bag to put the contents in. When you purchase the Happy Tears treatment kit, you will receive an email with how-to videos and step-by-step -step guide of how to use it and some useful tips. When you receive it in the post, you will get a card with all the instructions on it. I would like to just take a few moments to go through those instructions with you. Now, my suggestion is you start it in the morning with your little fur baby. And first of all, obviously, get up, have your little morning coffee, watch the news, do whatever you normally do, which is part of your routine. And then when you're ready to apply the treatment, if mornings is inconvenient, you prefer to do it at night time, it's fine. There's no rhyme or reason. It's not important to do in the morning or at the night time. The most important thing is to do it every single day until these tear stains are gone. So you've got your little beautiful fur baby. They could be sitting on the sofa at the side of you, or you could place them on a table. That's what I do with Teddy. I put a soft cloth underneath Teddy. And the first thing I do is I look in Teddy's eye. Unfortunately, Teddy does wake up in the morning with hard debris and gunk. So I remove that every single day. And I use my Tedster comb, which we'll talk about in a moment. You might have your own comb. I definitely would not recommend metal combs. If you're combing away the metal comb, that can actually scratch the eye area. It's a very delicate around the eye area. If you've got a plastic comb, um, try and do a backwards and forwards sawing action to loosen any debris or gunk. Because if I was to comb my hair and I had a look in my hair and I combed it, it would really hurt me. Now imagine doing that with some hard gunk or debris attached to your fur baby's eyes. That's very delicate around there. So we need to loosen it first of all by doing a backwards and forwards sawing action with your little comb. And then what we want to do is to wipe it away, but not down. Because if you go down the fur, that would just draw the stain further down. We really want to comb it up and then we can use this beautiful soft cloth to wipe the gunk and the debris away. Then what I would suggest you do is wrap it around your finger, unless you purchase the finger wipes, and I want you to thoroughly dry that area. So dry that area. Now with your other hand, separate the fur and go in on the eye and dry. And you can touch it to make sure that it's completely dry and clean and clear of any debris. That's the first step. The second step is to get the liquid and just spray twice onto the pink applicator. So it's two squirts and then I want you to go gently down the stain, only once. We don't want it wet, we want it damp. Once you've done that, then you would get the black applicator and put it into the powder, put lots and lots of powder on there, tap the excess off, and then I want you to work in this powder into the stain, separating bits of fur. Work it in, build the powder up. Once you've done that, you're done. You're done for the day. Now, this is the most important part of the process. Now, if your fur baby tears an awful lot, then all I want you to do is to wrap the bamboo cloth around your finger or using the finger wipes which I'll show in the moment and just dab, dab, do not put it down, just dab up any moisture that you can see. If there's lots of moisture you might need to reapply the powder 
You don't have to reapply the liquid because you've done that, but you could reapply the powder because you really want to build that powder up to create a barrier from when the, the dog tears from the tear going sinking into the fur and causing further staining. Now that is the big secret. We have learnt by trial and error, speaking to lots of customers, that the most important thing is to keep that eye area dry. So if you have a dog that tears constantly, your biggest battle is to keep drying that area. You just wrap this bamboo cloth around your finger and dab it up. Don't rub it, we don't want it sore, we just want it to dab. We want this cloth to absorb the moisture because the moisture will retain the stain. So I need to repeat this, the moisture will retain the stain. Any water will retain that stain and keep that stain in. So if you can build the powder up so it forms a barrier, if your dog then tears, it could be a minute later, 10 minutes later, half an hour later. When they tear, if you're there and you see it, it just dry it up with the cloth. If you're not there, but you've put plenty of powder on, the powder should act as a barrier. So when they tear, the tear will fall down and it will not sink further into the fur, causing further staining. Repeat the same process every day until those tear stains have gone. As long as you do it every day, don't miss out a day, just keep on doing it every day, you will get results. But the most important thing that I cannot emphasize enough is to keep that area dry. So if you've applied the treatment and your fur baby tears because it's teething or you've been out for a walk, then just dry that area with the bamboo cloth or the finger wipes if you've purchased them.